What's up, everybody on YouTube? This is Boy RC, and uh, this video has been definitely requested from a lot of my subscribers and various YouTubers for me to do a collection video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. My first shoe is going to be the White Cement Breeze with the gray up and on the heel and the forefoot. Definitely, definitely a nice pair of shoes. Right Next pair of shoes, we're going to have the Black Cement Threes. I actually camped out for about three and a half hours for these, but definitely worth it when I actually got these shoes and I have to wear them, pull them out of the box. Um, I've worn these a couple times already. Definitely, definitely, uh, I catch it. Really nice pair of shoes. Uh, next pair of shoes is going to be the Black Cat Threes. Really like these shoes because all black silhouette, you know, you can go wrong with all black. And also on the heel tab behind it, it says Black Cat. A little fine details like that on shoes are really do uh, like and appreciate. Next shoe is going to be the Black and Tall Fives, another all black silhouette shoe, very very clean, uh, 3M Tone on the Fives is always amazing, uh, got your metallic silver uh, shark teeth on the side, all in all very 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 clean shoe, especially with the blue clear sole, uh, definitely, definitely it was a must have. Next shoe is the Wolf Grey Fives, which are all grey upper, is some sort of a new bucky material. Um, and these were actually the first Jordan 5s to actually include a all blue icy sole. Very, very uh, unique pair of shoes because of that. And definitely must cop to us. Uh, these are the Bordeaux 7s. Um, another, probably, my, this is probably my favorite pair of shoes I have. Uh, I kept out for about 7 or 8 hours for these. But I really like the shoe because of the materials they use. They use the new buck. Uh, which makes it a nice soft shoe. The colors are nice and flat, flat black, flat gray, and the tongues on the sevens make them very, very unique. Next pair of shoes I have is the Cardinal Sevens. Now, these shoes might not have the tongue like the Bordeaux uh, or any uh, unique tongue to them, I'm saying. But I do like the golden bronze hits on the Jordan the Man and the Hill Tab. I only wish these were like the 2006 versions where they actually had the gold uh, tabs on the laces. But these are silver, which aren't as bad. They're not that bad. Now we got the Emerald Griffies. Uh, Emerald Griffies once and I just like this color this colorway because it was one of the uh, original colorways even though they strayed a little bit off from the originals they don't have the, the Nike swoosh is not outlined in red I really wish they would have stuck to the original but you know how they change them up from year to year next color we got is the Cincinnati red uh, 51 another another really nice colorway this kind of reminds me of fire now that I look at it um, when you look at it straight ahead it kind of looks like uh, the swoosh is on fire and it's just flying through the shoe. I really do like these shoes because of the, the sole also. Um, just the design overall these shoes is really, really unique. And the strap is also unique too with the Nike embossed in it. Really, really clean pair of shoes. Definitely must cop. Next pair of shoes I got is my Griffey 2s. Um, these are the Fresh World colorway. These are the original colorway. And um, I actually really wanted these shoes because I remember having them as a kid. I still have my jersey. Um, just all, all around a nice shoe. I really do like the soles where they have all these white track pads. Um, the fresh water green carbon fiber here on the back. Fresh water outline swoosh on the toe. All around, great shoe. Uh, Nike did a great job with this, this pair. Next shoe you got is the Nike Uptempo 2s. Really, really like these. Um, really bright colorway. This was actually the Max Orange colorway, which was a Hatsuhu's exclusive colorway. Um, very, very lucky to get these, thanks to my family up in New Jersey. And uh, definitely another must cop, if you ask me. Next shoe we have is another one of my favorites on my collection. If you did not buy these shoes, uh, you need to go buy them right now, because I don't understand why you would not get these. Definitely a must cop for 2011, the Nike Air Max Up Tempo 2s. And this is the Duke colorway. Um, got the vault green hips in the heel, vault green hips in the sole, all in all, great silhouette on the shoe, and a nice design also. Next shoe we have is my Dion's, my Maze Dion's. Um, I got these for about $80, and I'm surprised these even want to sell, because I see these shoes, and, uh, 
I think they look amazing. I really like the design on these. They look like flames, uh, but you know, with the mage yellow hits right here and on the air bubble. Uh, another definite uh, must cop in the 2011. Next shoe I have is my Retro Blue Composites. These shoes, I really love these shoes because they're pretty much indestructible and um, really eye catching because they're really shiny. I really do like that. And um, yeah, I mean, just another fire shoe for the year 2011. Uh, next shoe we have here is the Dark Knight uh, Composites. These are definitely another pair that I'm really fortunate to get because I actually almost missed out on these shoes. Um, I didn't act as I should, and I almost missed out on these because I waited and I got up kind of late, and I actually got lucky. This was, was the last pair of shoes they had in the store, and they were my size, so I knew there was a reason they were there. I it was for me, so um, all in all, great pair of shoes. I really like the iridescent color on the green. It turns to purple when you turn them, and uh, another must cop for 2011. These shoes right here, my cranberry half suits. Um, even though they're over a year old now, are definitely another shoe that really have kept up their shape and kept up everything, even though I've worn them a lot. Um, still have the nice blue sole on the sides. Really like the hologram on these shoes. They kind of remind me of like the morning, the hazy mornings. Um, I really do like that. Uh, just little details around the shoe. And also the laces are really dope on these shoes. Another must cop for the year from 2010. Also, another pickup from 2010 are my eggplant uh, half cents. Really like these two. These are my first pair of half cents, my cranberries being the second. And uh, also, a lot of wear on these. Uh, I really like the hologram on the side. It uh, kind of turns in green to a dark purplish. Really, really nice. Also, the soles on these are really stayed blue. Really, really good. And um, another feature that, you know, since I've been wearing, you can't really see, but there was the penny uh, hologram. Definitely a clean pair of shoes. And uh, another must copy 2010. Now, this shoe right here is probably. Um, I can't really put a put a favorite chisel thing on it, but I really worked hard to get these. Uh, I was online for what was about 15 minutes after 12. These actually, I remember the exact time when these popped up on nightstore.com. It was about 12:14, and when they first popped up, you know, I thought, okay, I can get them. And I used to, I, the first time I tried to click on them, they actually uh, like timed out on me. So I figured that they already sold out. I was gonna give up, and I was gonna say, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to get them. But you know, I stayed diligent. I kept trying, and these shoes. I actually sold out in about five minutes, but I got my pair. And these are the Blake Griffin Hyperdunks. See BG32 right here. Um, what was really was unique about these shoes is that the Nike Swoosh is 3M, and also the designs on the shoe, you can't see them right now, but a lot of the shoe has 3M designs on it, resembling an earthquake. That's why you can tell the sole is that pattern, the earthquake pattern. Um, also, on the bottom, you can see it's like a clear, clear outsole. Um, another earthquake pattern and a little cutout in your pivot point of your foot. So definitely another clean pair of shoes for Tesla Lemon. Another must cop in my opinion. And I'm um, actually wearing a shirt to match them. But uh, yeah, as I said, a must cop for 2011. If you didn't get these, I really don't know what you were doing. And probably the most sought after shoe, not even probably, the definitely, it's the most sought after shoe of 2011 is the Air Jordan 11 Concord. Now, I really like this shoe for a couple of reasons. First of all, wearability. Um, I probably won't see myself wearing them a lot right now, but in probably a couple months, I'm gonna break them out because you know, everyone's, everyone's got them. A lot of people do have them and they're wearing theirs. They're gonna be wearing theirs, wearing theirs, wearing theirs. And when theirs are all beat up, I'm gonna bring them out and they're gonna be heaters. These are gonna be heaters. And I think my favorite feature of these shoes is gonna be the Concord Purple Hit on the jump right here on the tongue and definitely the sole you don't see the sole you know usually when you're walking but the sole really sold it for me uh, the blue icy out sole with the concord purple track pads um also this just big uh strip of patent leather on the shoe and uh these are these these shoes i don't know they 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 have a story to them too because I actually had to camp out for about 10 or 11 hours to get these. Now, I actually almost ended up didn't even get them because 
uh, of sort of a riot slash small bum rush at the mall I was at. And um, I actually got lucky because my friend I was with, my man D, D. Owens, he knows who I'm talking about. Um, he was actually knew a guy and we got the shoes. So I'm really thankful that I went with him and uh, for his family, you know, bring me out with them to help me secure these shoes. And um, I'm definitely going to keep a, a really, really secure lockdown on these shoes, make sure they don't get dirty. And this is actually my first pair of 11s. I missed out on everything else. And there's one 11 that I may put over this if I had it. It would be the Space Jams. Uh, those shoes really clean. As I said before, all black silhouettes on shoes. I really like those. But guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos from me, just please subscribe or just check out my channel. Definitely leave a comment. Um, definitely like the video, share it up, and also add me as a friend. So guys, until the next video, I hope you guys have a great New Year's. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Write it. Can I bring a stand over here? Yes, I'm gonna have cue cards. Cue cards. Cue cards. Okay. What's up, Bula? What, what's what's up, YouTube? Let me do a this voiceover. You just stand TV. back here and I'll do the voiceover. You just add, you just look see you like. Okay, can we just? I'm just trying to make you laugh. Cause you all know. I'm not for you. No, 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 What's up, YouTube family? It's Blood RC back at you again with another shoe video. This time we're gonna switch things up. I'm gonna do a collection video. No. You can't see it, so it's okay. All you can see is like okay. right. We should go Yeah, that's what I say. You must have been you and that's what you said. Come on, come on. We need We go. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Hi, how you doing? I am Bullet. <laughs> okay, alright, I'm just gonna do it like I regularly would do it, okay? No. Alright, I wanna do it again. I'm done. No. I'm doing it again. Cool kids, blah, 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 bl
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,